Let's make a toast to glory days when you were eight and I was only forty-one. I dedicate the selfie to the little guy who will outlast me when I'm done. Look into my camera lens and straight through me I see that you're a lot like me. You never You'll never get a pension or your dad's money Pictures on my iCloud so you can't see me when I die. I left my body somewhere down in Mexico. You find my iPhone app a try. Victoria. Okay. What made you want to write the song Picture Me Gone? Oh, uh, uh, you know, that's, that's uh, the idea was that, and it, I don't know if this is, this is going to be too deep for you guys, but I was writing the song from the point of view of a, of a dad in the very near future when uh, uh, basically in the future there's going to be you know how everybody now still sort of has like their their photo album that's like kind of like a, a book that you know you, you put in the bookshelf and stuff like that so that's kind of like going the way of the dinosaurs and now and very soon you know more likely from now like in the future they're going to have uh, they're going to forget the family albums and they're just going to there's just going to be like a bunch of photographs that are like held on a hard drive and people aren't going to have any proof of their it's not going to be any hard evidence or photographs to really uh, leave to their kids, leave to their kids. So, so you uh, you have uh, this dad that's uh, sort of telling his kid, or leaving his leaving his big book to his kid, which is just a hard drive, and he's telling him that he backed it up on his iCloud, and they have to basically access it if they want to like see the story of where they came from. And I thought, I thought it was a very weird thing, like to think that like there might not be any hard. Uh, Hard photographs of uh, of us to, to share. Good questions. I like when you guys yeah, ask you questions guys, about the music. You guys are. This is a real interview. Thank you very much. <laughs> How long have you been doing this? How long have you been doing this? Um, since since about your age. I mean, I got started like uh, writing songs around then, around 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 your age, and uh, just um, singing them, just like writing lyrics down. 
and just like singing them. And actually, uh, I've, 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 I had so many at, at one point that I, I mean, I, I, when I'm, whenever I, I'm sort of like stuck for ideas, I just sort of pull one of those old ones out, like, you know, one of those first ones out. And uh, they're really good. All the, all the best ones I did, you know, when I was 10, actually. Um, what inspired you to sing? What inspired you to sing? Uh, other singers and other, other artists. Who are your, some of your favorite artists? Who should they look out for? Oh my God. This is the question I hate the most. Sorry. <laughs> of course I Look out it. for everybody. Because I, I don't, you know, you can, just listen to me, actually. <laughs> okay, that's it. Done. I like that your songs are original. Um, it's not like other pop music. And that, like, in the picture me gone, when you're dead, I think they should call you a legend. Oh. Uh, well, that's what it is. <laughs> Well, let's hope that doesn't happen for a very long time.